Grazer on here. And today, in, you know, the tradition of playing very obscure indie games, we're playing a fairly old one, actually. Receiver. It is the a seven-day dev jam where uh, this developer, within a week, programmed this game. It's a good old Unity game. You know, has the normal launch menu at, at the beginning, like the pre-game menu that asks for settings, which sometimes is arbitrarily low, medium, and like fantastic or something like that. But, you know, at, at these at these dev parties, they all get together with some freaking alcohol and blow and just party up with hookers and make games. No, it's not that, you know, fabulous. Anyway, <laughs> this game is kind of a really, really nice, simple game in like how it's executed but it has interest intricacies in it that make it kind of really compelling the idea is it's a procedurally generated map uh fairly simple textured as you can see and there are uh, the, like these staircases notice how they kind of co uh, copy in the background these rooms won't be the same if i respawn and i mean the goal is to find and collect 11 cassettes scattered on the map um, I don't really remember the premise because the game was made in 2013 and its last update was literally maybe a year or two ago. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. You wander on the map, try to find these 11 cassettes. Not really roguelike, but, uh, the, the, but there is a caveat. I'm trying to get to it. Um, it's not simple. It may sound simple, but the idea is there are dangers in the map and this is where the kind of the fanciful stuff that i really like come in you get a firearm like this and the vanilla game comes with one of three firearms and the various hazards are uh drones wild drones that wander the map uh i think the ai distance for that one in their particular is too far so it's not moving but there's a spotlight up there there are ground mounted tripod drones which will shoot you and there's the flying drones that have tasers. Uh, you just got to shoot them to neutralize them. So this guy up here, he's down. The game is cool because it's not just, uh, don't mind the edge of the map. Obviously, it's flat. The game is cool in its representation of how firearms are handled. It is fairly realistic. Um, there are a long, long laundry list of firearm controls that you have to... Uh, keep your brain up on for so that's stutter yeah the game's also a little bit poorly optimized um it's been a long time since the game last has been patched and you know tweaked on but if your computer can handle it which should be most there there will be some weird times especially with lighting it will cause some stuttering but the the game is meant to be complicated in in the idea of uh, controls like for example to run you don't hold shift you actually tap w and the reason why that's a thing it's kind of to uh, imbue a sense of urgency and complication. Like, for example, there is a ground turret right there. That actually made my heart stop. You can't lean, which I is a big kind of fault I wish you could have, but you uh, need to be very careful. You need to exercise caution because not only is the gun's handling realistic, you get shot and you're screwed. Oh, shit. I'm out. So here's where the game gets also complicated. It's not just hit R to reload. It's hit E. Oh, I only had four shots. Then you hit V. And like a real fucking cylinder ejector, you got to kind of do a couple tries for it. Then you load the rounds with Z. The scroll wheel will spin it and R will close it. F cocks the hammer. Then you can hold F and uh, click the fire button and it actually puts the hammer down. But this is a double action. It's a Smith & Wesson Model 10. Now, here, look in the upper right. This is the menu, the control menu for this one particular gun. The uh, The game starts off with three guns. And um, this is just the control setup for a revolver, of all things. And also, there's an expanded uh, help menu. So, yeah. It, it, it takes a while to wrap your head around this and um, memorize the controls. But I really, for what it's worth... I like it. I mean, I've shot a lot of guns in my life, and I like guns. There we go. Disabled it. I I hit it in the motor. 
I don't. I think the sensor is still up because it's still casting a light. So these do have kind of uh, locational damage. If you hit them, the, there's a battery right there. The motor's at the bottom. There's a sensor right there. There's an ammunition box, and there's the gun. You disable the ammunition box, can't fire. Disable the sensor, it can't see you into fire. Disable the motor, it will stop turning. And disable the battery, it kills it. Something like that. And so... Oh. Bingo. Oh shit! I accidentally see. Here's the kicker. It's like real firearm handling. So I I loaded spent case or loaded casings with spent casings. I can see the three, but like a real ejector, I can't choose. But at least I can't choose which ones to eject. But at least I can pick up only the rounds I want. Cassettes and ammunition are spread out across the map. Uh, the goal is to try and collect all of them without dying. And it is kind of edgy because after a while, you you're really on the edge of your seat because there's not other than the ambient audio cue you really have no idea when you're about to get jumped and that's stutter again the game actually does also have ricochet range penetration oh cool thankfully i found some ammo and a cassette tape there is um a weird backstory premise type deal i don't know exactly is the turret still up I think it's sensors disabled, though. Yeah, it's sensor disabled. It's not casting a shadow anymore. Well, at least it doesn't have years. But uh, I'll, I'll let you guys listen to an example of one of the cassettes. You don't find them in any particular order. They'll go anywhere from trying to establish the world you live in or the like the environment. Kind of put some, um, what's the term? Exposition. I mean, you're kind of like a, that cliche where you have amnesia. You don't know what's going on. But there's no subtitles, so try to bear with it. Please have your provided firearm operation manual ready for reference while listening to this tape. The 1911 A1 is an automatic loading pistol with an 8 round capacity magazine. The weapon can be discharged using a weapon marked in your manual. All firearms are extremely dangerous. Engage the safety of figure B and holster it in the tilde fashion for your protection. Figure E shows the correct procedure for ejecting the magazine. Also shown as the oh shit, I'm out of rounds. For a faster reload. Z shows how to handle various aspects of reloading. Oh, damn it. Well, damn. So now, yes, that uh, that turret killed me, but I also ran out of rounds. So you gotta be, you gotta place your shots correctly, and yeah, that's that's the challenge of trying to collect all seven cassette or eleven cassettes. And you spawn with one of three weapons when you die. Like when you when you die, you either get a, the Smith and Wesson Model 10, a 1911, or a Glock. And so now you have magazine handling uh, characteristics now. So see, you gotta take out the mag, put in the mag. Actually, I also have a safety in this particular gun. So you can check the chamber. I'm actually empty. Now I have a round in the chamber. So. For people that play video games and enjoy guns and actually know a lot about guns, this game is fairly nice. I mean, it's five bucks. Um, you can probably get it cheap on G2A for like literally a dollar fifty, but um, it has really cool mechanics. Like, look, I can even kick the rounds out. Uh, hopefully, I don't lose them. There you go. There you go. They collect and they're on the inventory in the upper left. I can slide release. I can put. I can put the hammer down. Put it back. Put it. That kind of thing. Rack the slide, release the slide, eject the mag, and I can actually manually reload the magazine. This isn't like any other shooter where all rounds consolidate into magical mags. You actually have to load the damn magazine. So you holster your gun, load rounds in. Uh, hopefully, this one has only one round in it. Nice. So you can take bolts out, put them back in. Um, let's check. Whoops. Let's check this one. Nope. See, even I still forget how to control it. There you go. So I'm topping off my two mags that are full. Pull that back out. Uh, yep. Whoops. Sometimes you'll accidentally drop shit like that. Like I do. I still don't have any rounds in my... Oh, wait. Pick it up. Put it in. Now it's loaded. I thought I had my... Uh, put my loaded mag on the floor. No, I thought I had a spare mag. I dropped it on the floor, but I had a mag in my gun. That would have been dangerous to find out later. And so now... I have a 1911 instead of a revolver. Now, the revolver is better because, in a way because uh, 
It's easier to handle. It has more loose rounds, and it's quicker to reload. But see, now you're back onto your adventure. Sometimes there are flashlights you can find. Safety off. There you go. I disabled the motor. Cassette tape. Your minds have been spied on. The rules of our world don't apply to yours, and so the threat have made a careful study of listening to your thoughts. The kill drones are the result of this research. When confronting a kill drone, be mindful of their weak points. The main systems that can be damaged are the camera, weapon, motor, and batteries. On a kill drone turret, the batteries and motor are in the body of the weapon. The motor is directly under the turret and the batteries behind that, near the rear of the body enclosure. Targeting specific weak points will make sure every bullet counts. So yeah, the cassettes have a sense of, um, they, they have a sense of explanation, although some, most of these things you want to know as you're wandering around getting shot at. Hey, look, another cassette. Wow, there's a lot of rounds laying around here. Oh, I found a flashlight as well. Flashlights, I, I, I literally don't remember whether I mentioned it earlier, but flashlights, they are randomly scattered across the map, and there may be a chance that you may get one or not when you uh, spawn. Sorry, I'm just thinking about how the hell am I going to get around this place. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had one in the chamber. See, that's the thing. I, I rack my slide so I can load it around in, and I already had one in the chamber, and I forgot about it. Thank... Oh. I heard a turret in the room over here. That actually scared the shit out of me. Holster up. Oh. Oh, yeah, you could also ditch the flashlight. Um, Pull that out. Damn it. Load the rounds in. Holst uh, unholster. There's a round inside, so don't rack it. Thankfully, this 45 is more powerful than the uh, than the uh, Smith and Wesson Model 10. I think the Smith and Wesson Model 10 is a 38 special. There you go. Oh shit! I took that out. All right, so. It's, it's all about wandering around the map, trying not to get killed. Ugh. Damn it. So, yeah. Now, oh, now I got a Glock. So, yeah, this that's actually all three weapons. That's kind of lucky I spawned with, or randomly spawned all three. But, yeah, sometimes you'll get... Fairly unlucky, you get a 1911 a bunch of times in a row, and sometimes you'll get a the revolver a bunch of times in a row. The Glock, if anyone knows anything about a Glock, it um it has 17 rounds. I'm really happy with having this. Compared to the 1911 and the uh the Smith and Wesson. Although, even though you'd expect more rounds to be sitting around, not really. Uh fuck. <laughs> I keep dropping on the floor. Try to imagine a guy at the range who just keeps dropping his mags on the floor <laughs> by accident. But yeah, you got a Glock, and notice the weird uh, little design design on the back. It That is a fire select. This weapon in particular has no safety. It has single shot and auto. Um, I just realized I kind of wasted rounds, but it's to show, you know, that all the weapons, or the three weapons in the game have some variety to them this one yes you can carry more rounds but it's a little weaker uh but the glock is fairly easy to run around with oh i heard something it's a drone oh it's a taser drone i was i was wondering when those were gonna show up but yes <laughs> i've been i've been fighting mostly uh tripods ground tripods but there are drones the tasing pricks which check my rounds um, I got around the chamber. There's a turret right there. Wow. I was in auto again. I don't like that. But yeah, see? In, in situations where you're trying to run past things... Oh! I heard two turrets now. But yeah, that's a... Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. 
That would have been bad to find out. But uh, that's Receiver. It's a, it is quite a unique and nifty little game. Um, I mean, I had an idea for a game a long time ago. I'm not a developer anyway, but uh, I had an idea where it's like, you know, you're kind of trapped in a building and you kind of have to fight off everyone and you have various weapons at your disposal. This game only has the Glock, the 1911, and the um, and the Smith & Wesson available. But there are, there are some mods, or not some, but there is a mod that in particular I'm uh, fond of that adds actually a whole bunch. I don't know if I'll do something on it, but um, yeah, this this is Receiver. Mm, $4.99 on Steam. Get it at a, a key site like uh, G2A. You could get it for pretty dirt cheap. So, uh, until next time. It's worth a play. Until the next uh, indie game, see you around. Bye.